So today I'm talking about a Toyota with a P1153 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Toyota P1153 code? Well, it's an air fuel racial sensor circuit response malfunction, bank two, sensor one. And what does this mean? Well, there's sensors and they're located on the exhaust and they do two things. The first thing they do is they monitor how much oxygen was burnt off during combustion. And then the onboard computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel racial mixture that goes into the cylinders. And then they also have heater elements built in that do a few things to help it go into what's called a closed loop quicker. And the onboard computer seen a problem with these sensors, so it's going to have to be troubleshooting to know why. And some possible causes, well, it could be a bad oxygen sensor, could be in the wiring, like an open or short, could be a blown fuse, and it can also be an exhaust leak. So be sure to keep a lookout for that, since if there is an exhaust leak, it can throw these sensors off. So that's something to keep in mind. And so the basics of what's going on with these oxygen sensors is you're going to have sensor one, it's going to be called the upstream oxygen sensor. It's going to be located before the catalytic converter. And then you're going to have sensor two, which is going to be called the down downstream oxygen sensor and it's going to be located after the catalytic converter and there could be two oxygen sensors there could be four oxygen sensors or even more and so it's always a good idea to get a diagram of where all the oxygen sensors are laid out on your particular toyota it just makes it easier to know exactly where they are and how many there is for example here's a 2007 camry with the 3.5 liter v6 and as you can see right here bank two sensor one is going to be located right here and it's going to be before the catalytic converter but the first thing to do is to go locate this bank two sensor one oxygen sensor on on your particular vehicle and then once you locate the oxygen sensor the next thing to do is to check out this wiring real good be sure everything looks like it's plugged in there's no damage or anything like that basically keep in mind anything wrong with the wiring is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad sensor also keep in mind that these could be on a fuse for example here's a 2005 toyota tacoma and right here you can see af heater that's for the oxygen sensors and this one also has a relay right here af heater and if anything went wrong with those then it could cause issues so that's something to keep in mind and so if you got through and you checked it out and the wiring looks good there's no blown fuses or anything like that then very likely that oxygen sensor has just failed and just needs to be replaced you can't test it if you want to i made some videos on how you go about testing these if you want to test them i'll put a link down below in the description below for those videos but the next thing to do would be either test it or just go ahead and replace it one thing to keep in mind with these sensors is that sometimes you need a special tool to get them out and get them back in not all the time sometimes they are more out in the open where you can get on them with like an open-end wrench or something like that but sometimes they can't be recessed into the exhaust and you need this special tool to get them out and get them back in and get around that wire so basically go and look at it see what it looks like i'll put a link down below if you need to see what i'm talking about with this special tool because it's really going to vary sometimes you need it and sometimes you don't and so that's basically it i just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a toyota with the p1153 code if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day